Welcome to this video tutorial from CoreTechnologies.com. Today we are going to show you how to run Microsoft's SyncToy application as a Windows service with Always Up. Once we are done, your SyncToy service will start immediately when your computer boots and run 24-7 in the background, even if no one ever logs on. Let's get started. First, before we set up SyncToy as a Windows service, please ensure that SyncToy is installed and works properly. It is important that each folder pair is run at least once, because running SyncToy in the background will only work after an initial synchronization has taken place. Next, download and install Always Up from CoreTechnologies.com. Start Always Up. Select Application, then Add to open the Add Application window. On the General tab, in the Application field, Enter the full path to the SyncToy command line executable, SyncToyCMD.exe. If you installed SyncToy in the default location, this is capital C colon slash program files slash SyncToy 2.1 slash SyncToyCMD.exe. In the arguments field, enter dash R. This will tell SyncToy to run all folder pairs. If you only want to run a single folder pair, say, named My Folder Pair, enter dash R My Folder Pair instead. In the Name field, enter the name that you will call this application in Always Up. We have entered SyncToy, but you can specify virtually anything you like. Click over to the Logon tab and enter the username and password of the Windows account in which you installed and configured SyncToy. SyncToy must run in this account so that it can find your settings. Move to the Restart tab and choose when you would like SyncToy to run. Every morning at 3 a.m. works for us, but please be sure to enter a schedule that works for you. Note that we have checked that this delay applies to the first run box to avoid a synchronization whenever the PC reboots, but feel free to uncheck it if you prefer. We also recommend checking the Minimize Event Logging box to avoid extra entries in the Windows Event Log. We are done configuring SyncToy as a Windows service with Always Up, so click the Save button to record your settings. In a couple of seconds, an application called SyncToy will show up in the Always Up window. It is not yet running, though, and the state will be stopped. To start the service, which will kick off SyncToy at 3 a.m., choose Application, then Start SyncToy. SyncToy should transition to the waiting state, and clicking on the clock icon will reveal the details. That's it. Next time your computer boots, SyncToy will be launched immediately, before anyone logs on. Of course, SyncToy won't start copying your files until 3 a.m. as we specified, but that schedule is easily adjusted on the Restart tab. We encourage you to edit the entry in Always Up and explore the many other settings that may be appropriate for your environment. For example, hide the SyncToy window in Session 0, prevent the computer from going to sleep, and much more. Thank you for watching. 